ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen welcome as we are still learning vlookup i am to the frank and we get right to the second example of using vlookup so in this second example um, let's assume that i want situation whereby if i place an employee id right here i'm being as in under this particular cell i want to have something else let's say the bank I want to see the name of the bank the employee is banking with so this is the that the data i'm going to supply and i want to see once i supply an employee id right into the into this box which i'm going to paint for clarity i'm going to paint it's not compulsory to paint this box so i'm just doing it for as in to lay emphasis once i place the employee id right here I want the bank of that particular employee, the bank that the employee is banking with, to show on this other box right here, this empty box. So to do that, I'm going to type the formula again. So I click here and I say equal to VLOOKUP. And then I open my bracket. The first thing I will put is the cell address of this particular cell, which is what cell N7 so i press comma then i have to define the range of the search where the search will cover so i simply type um the range of the cell which is um the search will start from a4 and the search will end this time around at uh, k33 someone asked why not j33 is no more j because j was where we have the net pay but now the search will involve bank so we stop at uh, K, which is uh, where we have the names of the bank. So, so the last bank, the last record on bank, which is UBM, is actually at uh, K33, not J33. So this time around, we use K33. Then the number of columns involved in the search is no more 10. Because when we were searching for net pay, it was 10. Now we are searching for bank, so it is 11. So I comma type here 11 comma then I type false and I close the bracket then I press enter you see now what we have here is not applicable but let me type okay we now know that uh, 1001 is then is done and uh, the next page is showing here uh, the bank is actually access let's replace okay let's type 1001 here and see if access bank will show you to be sure that our formula is correct so type here 1001 and i move out and we see access okay let's try out something else we have someone here that bound with the um, uc i mean uh, fcmb which is a gift sunday the employee id for gifts is actually 1008 so i come here and i type 1008 then I move out and it shows FCMB, which means it is correct. So if I'm looking for if I'm looking for the 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 net pay of an employee, I can type here. And if I'm looking for the bank of any employee, I put the bank, I mean the employee ID right here, and I will see the bank where we have this value as you can see. So can this work for any other spreadsheet, any other worksheet or any other columns here? Yes, it can work. The first thing is just for you to identify the range of the search and then you identify where the answer will appear. Yes, and then you get your answer correct. God bless you. I am Tudor Frank. I hope you really enjoyed the class. And if you don't understand anything, please, I would advise you watch the video there as in watch the video like twice and then try to practice it then you will understand better i am to the frank those of you doing the full package training see you in the class god bless you all